What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Today I'm in Lumumba bus station Just exiting bus station taking you to Mungule Mungule happens to be the nearest chiefdom in Lusaka, Zambia so near Lusaka, it is found in the next district known as Chibombo District. I'm just exiting Lumumba bus station. I decided to take a bus. I'm on my way. Because one of you guys just recommended a video in Mungure area where he used to live. Everington Mbuisan from Johannesburg, South Africa recommended I do this video to Mungule. So guys, to start this video, I decided to just take... Uh, there's a joke. I'm coming from uh, the station. You know, in the station or these bus operators. Comment down below if it happens in your country. In the bus stations, we have one of the most rude people. They are stubborn. They can insult. Though we are used to them, they have got very sarcastic language. They are the most sarcastic people you ever find. But never judge them to be. Uh, that's how Zambians are. Zambians are generally very good people. So there's a joke which they say because nurses in Zambia, in the hospitals, they are overwhelmed. One nurse who attended to so many pa patients. Also, they are shoprite cashiers. I think because they are underpaid. So they are normally rude. When you go to shoprite, the cashiers are rude. Just like nurses seem to be rude as well. So there is a popular joke which they say mm, there will be a semi-final match between Shoprite cashiers versus nurses. The winners are going to face the bus operators or the bus conductors. <laughs> okay, guys, we are at Useko Market. This is the largest timber market in Zambia. Yes, in the whole Zambia, this is where timber, which comes from western province, northwestern province. It comes from um, Copper Belt province. Some of the timber comes even from Tanzania in the forest. It finds itself at Buseko Market, which is used for roofs. It is also used for making different kind of furniture. So we are on our way to Mungule, and I will be showing you something very interesting particularly because the road to Mungule used to be extremely bad so I will be telling I'll be showing you the road how much it has improved it is so good if you came today you were here years ago like Mbuisani you will be so shocked the place has changed the roads are so good the other remarkable thing about this place is that is it being very near to to town not very near but it's not far from town really this is a place which is the most happening area in lusaka you know this place is barely less than it could be around 30 kilometers to reach where the chieftainess lives because this place the head of this chiefdom is not a man, she is a woman, chieftainess Mungule. So this is Great North Road, as usual where we are going uh, to turn off from is known as 10 miles. 10 miles is the place where we are going to turn off from and turn left. So it is 10 miles from the junction, maybe another... So, ladies and gentlemen, this place is less than 30 kilometers from the city center to 
the chief dome so there are some people who get pieces of land which are even nearer i want you my friends to comment down below this is one of the beautiful new buildings which have come up by the roadside and this one as well i want to hear some comments from you are there some of you people who move about 20 kilometers or less than 30 kilometers to and from work so this is one of the new places which has come up all these place you are seeing these are quite new settlements as well before we turn but i want you to see uh if where you live these things happens there is this driver was really in trouble by this police officer i wanted you i want you to hear the drama what she said when she talked to the driver Did you hear that again? Hi, hey, Sunny, kindly park here. Otherwise, I can't say much. They will not even tell you the charge. Sometimes these are the few people that make our country look bad. So here, and most of the time, you have to corrupt them. So this officer was corrupted with a 50 kwacha. We are at 10, 10 miles, so we turn left. From 10 miles, 10 left. This is now officially called Mungule Road. Few years ago, it was a complete uh, gravel road. Even the gravel road was so bad. No one, you could hardly enjoy driving on this road. Now, it is tarmac. On the left, on the right, is even a settlement now. People have started living. This one is turning into a, a modern residential area. There was no electricity. You can see there is even a power line going on this road. So you can see you turn off 10 miles from Lusaka. So that's why this place is known as 10 miles because you turn off at a place known as 10 miles so after moving 10 miles you move again maybe another 10 kilometers west of this area known as mungule mungule road so all this falls under chieftainess mungule and where this road ends this tarmac is actually the palace for the chieftainess and that's where we are going but i also have some something to tell you uh showing you that this road used to be bad now it's okay i've even seen one motorbike written for booking <laughs> very funny there are gardens on the right people are even doing some irrigation i'm sure you saw a, a car bypassing for really flying, it was never so from the beginning because the roads were that bad. Here you can see somebody got a very big chunk of land, fenced it all, and built a mansion inside. See other vehicles. Have you seen how they are flying? It was never like that in the past. So in this same area, ladies and gentlemen, anyone, people, you can simply come to the headman, uh, by land or through the chief. Yeah. On the left, this is Kapopo Tanov, where sand for Lusaka comes from. Sand for building. So buildings and the sand which they used to build houses in Lusaka, it comes from this place. That is Kapopo Tanov. Then there's also another village on the right where these headmen, you can go there, talk to them nicely. Uh, you can purchase land very, very affordably. On the left, there was somebody who built a house just before he could finish a big structure here. He wanted to put up a chicken run, a pottery, and then he died. 
on the right on this mango tree here is a village known as Saidi village Saidi village there is land here there's also a village here where they are it's a very good place as well the road proceeds now on the same Mungure road I have seen people who came to this place negotiated land and they still own land for years while well, many people were scared that this place is too far remember the price of getting a reasonable land here like a plot of land is as good as some of you people what you pay for a monthly rental would be equivalent to getting your dream land in this place just a good residential place imagine you are getting land which is about slightly or oh, 20 kilometers from the Lusaka Central uh, or Lusaka Town Center so we are almost getting to the further end you see somebody has put up some pottery I don't know whether they are piggeries that's what people do in this area the land is now good. As usual, I like asking you, my friends, would you live in such an area? Would you consider living? Imagine you got a big piece of land here. Can you live in such a place which is about, say, less than 30 kilometers from town center? So like me, in this case, I was not driving. I didn't want even to cycle, although I could have cycled, but there are times I, I don't want to stress myself by exercising to such a long distance. I've done, remember, there's a video I did, I went to Mumbwa, I cycled about 200 kilometers. Yes, even made a video. I have a video on my channel. If you didn't see that video, you can check it out. So would you live in such a place, 30 kilometers away, then you get a big piece of land. If you can't drive, by the way, I paid 20 kwacha coming to this place. 20 kwacha is exactly one dollar. Coming back, I paid 75 cents. I paid 15 kwacha. Is that reasonable? Comment down below. So, I'll be showing you now, this is the place, as you can see, the tarmac has literally ended, finished. This is the poster to the palace, there where the tarmac ends, that's the palace for the chieftainess. I even walked there to go and reach the gate. Take a look slowly. Kakoma Palace, Republic of Zambia, chieftainess Mungure. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching up to this end. I so much appreciate for your support and that my channel is growing. You have been doing it. If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. We are on a journey to 10,000 subscribers. Mbuisani, thank you. I hope this has done, I've done what you requested for. Thank you so much.